Good morning everybody and welcome to a brand new video. This is going to be a huge haul of everything that I have bought over, well essentially will be over four weeks. We are about two weeks into a holiday now and I think what I need to start doing is getting some of this stuff in suitcase so I kind of know my weight limits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've bought so far and then what I'll do is I'll keep adding to this um, over the four weeks. There is a lot. I will say that there is a lot. Um, I don't know the next time we'll be coming back to America or Florida and I love the things here and I want to pick up as much as possible. So yeah, um, it's not by any means me bragging or showing off. I just know that you love hauls i obviously show that a lot on my channel and i want to share with you what i've bought and the kind of things that you can buy here so yeah i will keep adding to this but i'm going to show you what i've bought so far and i'm going to put it into categories actually the first being food okay so like i said this is so far we're obviously only two weeks into a holiday i'm going to try and take things out of packaging that i can so these i'm going to take out of the boxes just so it's not that it's going to make a huge difference but obviously it will make a difference um and things like this boxes so this is food and they there are some medication um so if i start with the food i think some of this i have already shown but I'm going to go over it again because obviously this is kind of going to end up being my end haul. So I've got some ranch. My daughter loves ranch. This was Dollar Tree. This is extortionate in the UK. I also got some ranch seasoning, some butter toffee pretzels, which look amazing. I also got a huge bag of honey roast almonds. And then my favourite cereal in the US is, well, one of my favourites is Captain Crunch. I found this in Walmart and this is kind of like a uh, cheaper version. I think this whole giant bag was only like $5 something. So I've got one of those. And then I am hugely into my coffee creamers here. I have actually Googled and I found a way of making coffee creamers. So I will link that below so you can see the recipe but I'm going to take these home for now. These are kind of essentially long life creamers. I got caramel macchiato and French vanilla. And then I also got this to try. It's a powdered version. I've got no clue what this is like. I have looked at reviews and people say it is good. So I thought I'd give it a try. And that was only something like, I don't know, two, three dollars, really cheap. And then I got these four boxes for my daughter. She loves these. Basically, you put them in the fridge, they go hard, and then they leave an imprint on your tongue of a picture, whatever you choose. So, yeah, she is loving these. You get 10 rolls per box, and I've got four boxes. And then from Dollar Tree, I got a little pack of Lucky Charms. I probably will take more home than that. I got some classic American mints. And then a few snacky bits I again I found in Dollar Tree, a trail mix which is s'mores, caramel apple chips. And then I found these. My favourite flavour is brown sugar. And these are porridge sachets, 10 pouches, maple and brown sugar, and they are 100 calories, which is amazing. And then on to a few medications now. I got some pain relief for my mouth um i haven't got any at the moment but i do suffer with mouth ulcers a lot so i thought i'd give that a try uh, i got some pain patches there mainly to kind of use while we're here if we need them antacid tablets because i only kind of like the fruity ones again these were a dollar tree one dollar 25 for 55 which is mad I have bought two of these i don't know where the other one is I've bought one pack so far of melatonin. We are planning on taking more back. This was around $10, including tax. And it's the 10 milligram strength, which is definitely the best one to get. Some of these restless legs for my husband, 
tension headache tablets and another one this one i've just taken out because i did have some yesterday had a migraine and um yeah they work really well and then i've got some antibiotic ointments we get through shed loads of this if ever you come to the us try this this is obviously a dollar tree um cheaper version there are more expensive ones this we used for literally anything anything on ourselves we've used it on our cats and saved um vets bills it's amazing absolutely amazing so yeah i'll be taking way more of those home so that is food and pain relief like i said i am gonna now pack these up and there probably will be more food and pain relief at the end okay here is all of the house stuff so far i'm actually scared to show you i've not even finished shopping yet there is just so much i thought my husband was gonna go mental when he saw this big sign it actually opens up um to go it's essentially to go outside so i might actually paint this in mod podge to kind of protect it but that i love that that is like my pride and joy $12.99 and it's huge so we've got tea towels lots of signs absolutely love this how adorable mini cups cloche lots of trays you know i'm absolutely crazy about my trays and then oh some more signs up here and then i've got quite a few bits uh, crafty bits so this i'm going to paint and then this i'm going to paint because obviously it's silver at the moment i've got these which are like kind of coffee cups and some numbers to do something for my granddaughter i thought i'd get a bit crafty when i get home let's move that I thought I'd get a bit crafty when I get home and make some of my own autumn decorations. Um, those were both from the Dollar Tree. Honestly, the Dollar Tree, I'm lethal in there. I love it. Absolutely love this. Thought it'd be great for just having out, storing some coffee. These trays are amazing and they are so, so light. So definitely good for taking home got some more signs butter knife which i love this tray is so light light as a feather and i love this i thought maybe a few utensils or some spoons and then got a few of these stems my plan is to actually take these off the sticks i think let's see and then i've got more dollar tree things these scented little broomsticks in pumpkin are so, so strong. When I open my cases the other end, they are going to stink. They are amazing. Two packs of these from Dollar Tree and they obviously clip on. Kind of give that knitted effect. And then I got a hair styling tool. This was from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it. It's fairly on the heavy side. It's a little snack bowl, but up in the lid has actually got a cooler ice pack that you remove and pop in the freezer genius love it and then i've got some more crafty bits here um a little cutting mat cutter we've got three um chalkboard markers i've got a metallic marker some stickers and then these i thought were pretty cool they were only a dollar 25 from the dollar tree um, they're meant to be emergency candles, but I think I'd actually use those in a candlestick holder. Love them. And then this, I bought one and my daughter wanted one, so I got her one. It's a little, oh, it's a little flashlight, which is really, really bright. And look how thin it is. Easy to keep that in your handbag. Love that. So I did get my daughter one of those as well. I got these to take back with me. I thought for my granddaughter, because these are basically for um, pencil grip. And then I thought I could also keep a couple in my bag for any students that might need them. But yeah, I think they'd be brilliant for my granddaughter. They were from Target. 
And then I've got this to use while I'm here. I do love a scalp scrub and I didn't bring anything with me. And I love tea tree. It's so menthol and tingly in your scalp. I love it. And then this was a huge pack of downy scented pearls. I just put them in this sealable bag so it's a little bit lighter to take home. Smells incredible. Those are like lavender ones. And then I've got these to take home. Thought it would be lush in the bathroom. And yeah, that is everything so far. But... I'm sure there's gonna be loads more. And this is why I want to pack it up now. I just think that if I get a lot of it packed up, then I'm gonna kind of know where my weight is. Whereas at the moment I'm panicking a little bit. Oh, and I got these for my granddaughter. They are for the bath. They've got numbers on one side and then the correct amount of dots on the other to represent the numbers. But yeah, you just go in the bath and float, I love them. So that is all of the house stuff for now. <laughs> I also bought this for my granddaughter. It's a dry erase pocket. Basically, you just practice writing your letters and then numbers on the back. That was from Target as well, which I think is amazing. Okay, next up we have bath and body works as you can see already i have bought a lot but i do love bath and body works and it definitely is cheaper in the us i know we can get a hold of it in the uk now but they constantly have deals i also signed up to be a rewards member so there's quite a few products here i also got for free so it's definitely worth signing up so i've got a massive array of soaps i've got the foam ones i've also got the gel this one it's quite handy to know actually they wrap it for free gift wrap it for free so i got this one for my eldest daughter and i just thought i'd see what it's like to have it gift wrap but completely free so i've got red cherry and oud autumn s'mores kitchen mandarin pumpkin pecan waffles i got two of the white pumpkin they smell amazing sugared maple lane another pumpkin waffles and then my absolute favorite mahogany teak wood i've got one foam two of the soaps and then i've also got a basil leaf and apple i probably will get more while i'm out here at the moment they are on offer for three dollars and 95 each so I could do with maybe some more for the kitchen, but I quite like the aesthetics of the kind of neutral. Um, so yeah, definitely will get some more before I go. And then I've got some car fragrance refills and I also picked up a diffuser. That was... 5 95 and then I think these were on a deal, can't remember what it was now, but as you can see I do love mahogany teak wood, I have got an apple and honey as well, but I would definitely get more of those because I can't really say I've ever seen those in any of the shops in the UK, so yeah we'll get more of those. And then I've got loads of the wallflowers, I do have a couple of the English plugs I bought them off a lady on Facebook. Now, I have no idea where she got them from because I actually asked in store and they don't do an English plug version. You would have to buy an adapter. So, yeah, I don't know how she got them, but I do have two and I don't actually have that many wallflowers left at home. I've kind of been scrimping and trying not to use them that much. So I probably will pick up more of these as well. Lots of different scents. And then I got loads of hand sanitizers again. I'll pick up more of these before I go. This is honestly the only hand sanitizer I use and have ever used since coming out to Florida. The scent it leaves on your hands is amazing and you actually feel like hands are really clean and non-sticky 
so I absolutely love this and I've always bought from again a lady off Facebook whenever I've not been in the US but yeah and it's one that my daughter will use in fact the whole family will use these I absolutely adore them hands down the best hand sanitizer I've ever used in my life I picked up one of these because this was actually reduced to we're well not reduced but it's on offer at the moment for $2.95 and they're normally six dollars fifty so i picked up one of those um yeah i like it i wouldn't say i like it as much as those but sometimes when you get back in the car it's a lot easier to quickly spray your hands and the steering wheel and things like that with hand sanitizer and then i got a sample of this with being a rewards member apparently this is coming out in august i have no idea when but it would be lovely if I could get it before I left. I obviously got it in Mahogany Teakwood, my favourite scents, and it's Fabric Care Detergent Concentrated Formula. So I'm presuming that this one sachet would do a load, a small load. Oh, no? Half for a small load and all for a large load. So yeah, I am hoping that they will be out before I leave. Super exciting. And then this was one of the things that I got free. I got a birthday gift free and then I also got uh, an item up to the value of $16.95. Oh, and I also got a $10 off, I think it was $50 or $60 spend when I first signed up. I love pumpkin, so I got their hand cream. Their hand cream is amazing. And then I picked up some shower gels had this one before i think the one i've had has been slightly different because this is lavender with iris um these are fantastic to put in the bath as bubble bath but also a shower gel and i love the fact that it's lavender and then i've got sun blooms and suede this was reduced can't remember how much it was actually and I also got that one reduced. It was like end of clearance. So that's like a male one. Obviously got the mahogany teak wood, which although I absolutely love that, I'll probably leave that for the boys. And then I had to get a pumpkin latte. So yeah, that is so far. But like I said, my plan is to buy loads more before I go home. I know we have this in the UK, like I said, but it's just not the same and it's definitely a lot lot cheaper i found since the last two weeks that we've been here they've kind of rotated their offers so like i said at the moment hand soaps are three 325 i think and they were on five for 27 dollars. so at the moment it's working out slightly cheaper but obviously these are quite weighty things I have just filled up one of my hand luggage suitcases which is literally just before the 10 kilogram so that's what kind of what I want to start doing really is filling up cases obviously this can't go in hand luggage because it's liquids but yeah it'll give me an idea of what I'm left to work with I also kind of need to maybe from the Dollar Tree or somewhere try and find some sort of bubble wrap and things because I do have a few sort of glass items and after the mirror smashing before we arrived i obviously don't want that to happen but yeah love 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 bath and body works and just quickly for anyone that missed the first video i have bought two well a kate spade bag and a kate spade purse which were absolute bargains i also got some nike pink leggings they look a lot brighter and lighter on camera but they are a lot darker than that and some kate spade earrings a few little treats for myself although it probably looks like i've treated myself a lot which to be fair i have but if you know me i love shopping and i do have no idea when i'm going to be back here again so i am taking full advantage also got a few other bits here some crafty and I love these. They go perfectly on my tiered tray. 
Right, these are some bits that I picked up from Ross and Target yesterday. Um, I've had a few stains on things since I've been here, so I bought this OxyClean, just a pen, which I thought would come in handy. I bought this, which is um, for cleaning your rings. I did buy another stick thing which I used to clean the stone on my ring yesterday and it was actually fantastic. That was from Dollar, um, not Dollar, it was from Target and that was reduced. And then I bought some of this psoriasis relief which my daughter suffers with her scalp so I thought that would come in handy. And then I bought some eyelash curlers. I didn't bring any with me. And these were only $2.99 from Ross. And then I bought some more of these patches for my son. I'm just kind of collecting a bit of a collection while we're here. He uses these all the time and swears by them. I then picked up a brow pencil from Colourpop, which is in Target. Because again, I forgot to bring one out with me. And then I picked these up from Ross. I particularly like this one. I think it's really cute flower. And that was $3.99. And then I picked a couple of these up. They're menthol and they're meant to be really good for pain. Thought for my kind of ankles, it shows knees, but yeah, I thought they'd be quite good. I think they're only a dollar each actually. And then I picked this up, another satin pillowcase. I love these and swear by them. Really think they help your hair. That was originally $3.99, it was on sale for $3.19, but even $3.99, you can't get these for less than probably £10 in Hobbycraft or T TK Maxx in our country. So yeah, $3.99 is very, very cheap. It's got chamomile infused in it as well. And then I've got some tweezers, quite like these, they're a beautiful kind of print on them. How much were those? $3.99. And then I bought this, I thought this sounded quite interesting, Rose Quartz Skin Reviving Roller. And you just kind of put it on. Soothes, cools and revives skin. Hmm. Thought it'd be worth a go and that was $3.99. Also picked up one of these mascaras. I, back in the day, I used to always use this mascara. This one's got a slightly different coloured, um, coloured shape wand, so I thought I'd give that a go. But yeah, that's all I ever used to use when I was younger, Maybelline. And then I got these for my eldest daughter. Bargain, $5.99. Honestly, in all the outlets, these are like at least $10, $20 bargain at $5.99. It even says, look, comparable value, $22, and that is right, really. Even in the outlet prices, these are extortionate, so it's definitely worth looking in these places. And then I got some of this Dermacil Cocoa Butter. I absolutely love this. I've bought this in the past here and really loved it, so I thought I'd give it another go, and it's that really good brown Dermacil as well. I also had an email come through while I was here, uh, Bath & Body Works, and these are actually on sale for a dollar, which is amazing. Maximum quantity you can get is 20, so I did buy 20, and I've also got a few more holders there. So I've got loads of flavours, these will last us forever ever and I'm going to get, obviously give some to my daughter as well. I also bought my granddaughter some items from the children's place. I think it was an additional 75% off, I think, or 60%, I can't remember. I got that really cute kind of smock dress, pumpkins all over it. That was 1894 minus, I don't know, 60 or 75% love this t-shirt how cute and those were on sale for five dollars and then i got some pjs i do love american pajamas they're quite tight fitting 
um, and they're a bit like the Gap pajamas. If you kind of know what Gap pajamas used to be like for <coughs> excuse me, children. So this is a two-piece, a top and bottoms, and then this was a pack of two, which is basically a giant baby grow. I mean, how lush! They've got the zip. They've got the kind of rough textured feet to stop you from slip it, slipping and these are in a four i think these went up to like a six but yeah i think they're lush i know my daughter would love them but to be honest you haven't actually seen that much clothing this year that i've liked i think i've picked up a few other bits but yeah i don't know normally i like everything but i wouldn't really say i've liked loads this year just going to show you now a few bits that I picked up from Target. I saw these. It's called a vase filler and it's just basically loads and loads of limes. I just thought these look really, really, really lovely out in a bowl. And these were $10. I just love them. I don't know what it is. I just saw them and I thought they'd be really, really cute in a bowl. And then I got this candle snuffer three dollars don't own one of these and i really like the fact that it is black and then i've got a couple of bathroom bits this is actually you can't tell it looks dark blue in the shop it looked dark green i don't know but yeah i got that and that was i think it was fifteen dollars and then this was $15, which I thought they went really nicely together. And I like the fact that it's dark inside. And that was 15. And then you're gonna think I've lost the plot, but I don't know why, but I had to pick this up. It's a little dispenser, but the shape of a pumpkin, and I just love it. That was in the dollar spot, four or five dollars. I don't know, I just love it. I know I'm mental. And then I picked up some meds to take home. Now I bought these to my daughter to try. She has never ever taken paracetamol until we used to kind of force her to have it when she was very young. If she has a headache or something like that, she will not take it. She can't swallow tablets. So I found these chewable tablets and it's pain reliever, fever reducer, they're grape flavour get 24 and I just thought it'd be worth trying these and if she gets on with them hopefully well not hopefully but if she uses them before we go and she gets on with them then obviously I could buy some more and then I got some extra headache relief I got some of these which kind of look like there are a lot less milligrams I think it's the same yes yeah, the same ingredients and then these I've bought many occasions when I've come before. They're amazing tension headache relief. And then I got myself a real oversized, I got it in an extra large, I think, an oversized green t-shirt. I think this was reduced to, it was on sale for $5 at a dollar off. Yeah, it's really, really soft and the color is not coming up on camera at all. It's a lot darker in real life than what it's showing up. Okay, next up, I went to a shop called Pop Shelf. It is utterly amazing. Apparently it is attached to Dollar General. It's kind of like their homeware sort of shop. Dollar General is again, one of those uh, great value cheap shops. And I picked up quite a few bits, so I thought I'd share them with you. Start off first with this big sort of entryway rug. I absolutely love this. I thought it'd be nice to have it out in either the kitchen or the utility. Pumpkin days are finally here. And they've got really, really lovely quality. It's not rubber backed or anything, so I might need to get something to put behind it to stop it from rubbing, but I absolutely love it i know it's kind of covered and then next i adore these it's a set of fake books they are wooden 
and what I like is they actually are all separate. This was only five dollars. So you could essentially take them out or twist some of them around, but I love them. And I've never actually seen any sort of stack of books like this that aren't actually attached. Normally they're all glued together. I just love it. And I just couldn't believe the price, $5. I did watch a lot of TikToks and things um, and hauls about this before I went. So I kind of knew that it was amazing prices. And then I picked this up. I really love this for our bathroom, brush your teeth. And this was $3. These are wood, but it is kind of, I suppose that, is it plywood? That really kind of light wood love that and i love the fact that it's kind of got this jute bit at the back so you can either choose to hang it off that or hang it off the jute love it and then i picked up some more kind of um pumpkin autumn decor i found these beads which i absolutely love five dollars they're just wooden beads with a navy tie and then they've got these wooden different pumpkins awesome i absolutely love these so much so i did pick up quite a few and then i picked these up these were just three dollars i thought even if they were kind of like i don't know draped off the books love this kind of like burnt orange color it's so lovely and then I got this one, which has kind of got, it's hard to explain, I suppose it's, it's like a burnt orangey brown, if that makes sense. And it's got lots of leaves, acorn leaves, maple leaves. I thought that was really lovely and I love the colour of the beads of this one, just natural and then I found this which I just thought was really adorable and I just thought this would be lovely out in the kitchen it's quite small it's really light three dollars simple let's eat and then I picked up a few acacia wood bits I know this probably seems really random to take back but I've got acacia wood loads in my kitchen I really love acacia wood um, our bottle opener is quite old. I really love this one. It's obviously acacia wood and black, which is me to a T. And then I saw this bad boy. It's a pizza cutter. Oh, I didn't, sorry, I didn't see how much that was. Oh, it doesn't actually say. I don't think it was expensive. And then I got the pizza cutter. And what I liked about this is not only is it acacia wood and black, but I don't know if you can tell, but the actual pizza cutter is huge a lot bigger than ours so yeah I love that as well and then I picked up some beauty bits to try I've got no idea what these are going to be like they're by a company called Found I've obviously never heard of them I presume it's an American brand but there's a colour correcting concealer which this one they did have different colours and this one is for kind of like the dark under eye circles which I, I do struggle with and then I got this perfecting concealer. I like the fact it's got cocoa butter with it. Conceals imperfections with buildable coverage. Doesn't say how much those were either, but I know that they were only like a couple of dollars each. But yeah, that is a few bits I bought from Pop Shelf. Absolutely love the place and I do love a bargain. I don't know what it is. Why is it? whenever something is like really cheap i mean like three dollars that's like two pounds something i just yeah five dollars probably about four pounds i don't know something like that and the stack of books i mean i don't actually get it five dollars for that but five dollars for that and that oh it's just lush anyway yeah a few more housey bits just been editing this video and realized that I didn't do an outro so I just thought I would quickly come on and say I really hope you enjoyed this video and my mammoth haul if you watch at the end then well done 
Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you really soon next time. Bye. Bye. How do we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? We used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry. I can see it in your